Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your Facebook rooms for communication on iOS and on a desktop PC. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video we're going to show you how to use the Facebook Rooms feature for communications. So this is a really good alternative to things like Skype or Zoom if you're interested in communicating. And the beauty of this is you don't need a Facebook account. You need one to set up the room, but other people can join the room without having a set up Facebook account. They can do it purely from a link. So it makes things nice and easy to use. Very simple for granny and grandpa and all those kinds of things who are maybe not that tech savvy. So let's get straight into it. So I'll show you it first of all on the iOS device, and then I'll show you on the desktop PC. I won't be showing you the Android version as that is a little bit different and is actually called Groups in Facebook and has been around for a long while so most people probably won't need to use that anyway. But if you do want to find out how to do that let me know in the comments section below and we'll do a video to update how all that works. So let's go into the Facebook Messenger app on our iOS device and this is a iPhone XR running the latest updates. Uh, so your device may look slightly different but essentially the principles are, are the same. So first thing to do is to open up the Messenger app and on the first screen you get your chat section and what you want to do is to click on the icon in the bottom right hand corner that says people so we'll click on that and then you get the option at the very top to create a room so nice and easy very straightforward and you can probably talk through to most people how to get them to set this up if necessary but i thought i'd make a video just to try and clarify so all you need to do is click on create a room and you get the introducing rooms thing up come and say invite you with a link so you can video chat with anyone just by sending a link now you can copy and paste that and send it by email or whatever however you choose to do it you can do it now you can join with that an account as we said so there's nothing to download or install so you can just get on and use it and you can use it on any device so anyone with basically a device that can access the internet can do it this is where it comes in a little bit more handy with android devices where the groups section is a little bit different so you can actually send a link from your ios or desktop pc to an android user and then get on very easily bypassing the whole groups thing anyway so we'll click on try it and there we go our room is connected so as you can see already it's got my uh, face actually on the display now on mobile devices most of them have got dual cameras so if you're trying to show something else actually going on in the room or whatever it may be you can just click on the camera icon it'll switch cameras and if there's something you want to show on the screen you can do uh, move it around nice and easy very flexible easy to do we will switch that back on uh, also if you maybe want to just have a voice conversation you don't want someone to see you maybe you know you just got out of the shower or whatever you can just click on the camera icon and that will set you in like a privacy mode so people can still hear you but you will not be seen so that's pretty cool we'll turn that back on uh, if you want to close it down you can click on the x button at the top and also you've got the down arrow so you can go in to choose other things like if you're doing something else on messenger you can do that and it's, the call will still remain active and if you want to go back into the call you can just click on the red bar at the top and that will take you back in nice and easy to do so at the bottom we've got options for who can join so again you can use it for uh, people who've got the link or people on facebook so if we choose people with a the link then pretty much anyone can join the conversation so there, go. there is how to set it up on your iOS device. Nice and straightforward and really, really user friendly. It's a little bit more complicated on the PC version and also you've got a little bit more flexibility as regard to audio devices and all that kind of thing and also cameras. So let's go over to the PC now and I'll show you how it's done on the PC. Okay, so on your Windows desktop PC or pretty much any PC that's got access to the internet, so Macintosh, PC, whatever, uh, even Linux users can also get involved with this. So all you need to do is open up a web browser. We're using Chrome on this instance. So all we do is type in uh, Messenger. It should be good if I can type it. Obviously, if you've been to messenger.com before, it'll already auto-populate, but it's just messenger.com. And once you go into messenger.com, you'll get your normal chats load up. And what you want to do is to click on this icon at the top, which is to create a new room. And once you've clicked on that, you'll get another pop-up and with Mike's room. And I'll tell you how many people are here and you can join as your user profile. So we'll click on join. And in a few seconds time, we'll be greeted with a display. So normally if you want to, you could have this full screen and this section here, the big black section would have your other users and in various windows. So if you have one user, it'd be full screen, two, we split screen, etc. You can move all that around. Uh, you can see here what is actually being displayed like you would under FaceTime and that kind of thing on iOS. So that is what is actually being displayed. Now we've got a few options here, so uh, 
option here, share your screen. So if you've maybe got a problem with your computer, you can use share your screen and you do get more options with that as well. So you've got share your entire screen with everything on it. You can choose a specific application window or you can choose a specific Chrome tab. So really handy for remote support. Also, we've got see call participants. We're going to that slightly uh, later. We've got turn off video, so privacy minded people, you can turn off the video. This still leaves the microphone wide open, so make sure you don't say anything you shouldn't whilst your camera feed is off. Uh, again, you can turn it off as well, so if you're away from your keyboard or away from your PC or you're having a private conversation, you can leave the video on if you want to and mute the microphone or unmute it. Nice and easy, nice and straightforward, really nice simple interface. And if you want to leave the call, you can click on leave room. So also in the call participants, you can see who is actually in a call, but also you can add people to a call. So if you want to add people to a call, you can choose the invite people section, and that is the link. So you can either highlight all of that, right click, and choose copy, and then you can paste that into another application or email or whatever it is. So if you're doing a bulk email to all the people in your contacts book and you want to stay in contact, you can do it that way. Or alternatively, you can just click on copy and that sends it again to your Windows clipboard. Also, if you've got uh, all the members in the room that you want and you don't want anyone else from joining, you can click on the lock room and it says, do you sure you want to lock the room? So you can go ahead and click on lock. Now the room is locked so no one else can join. So uh, for filming purposes, this is perfect. Or for privacy, again, very useful section. We'll turn that back on so now people can join. So we go into settings now. So this is the section so you can choose end room. Now this removes all members and disables the link. Or if you want to, when you're finished, you can just close down the window. So click on leave room. So you click on there to uh, choose the rate of the video chat so they can get some feedback on it, but we'll click on not now. Uh, we don't want to rate it, so we'll just close the window altogether. And there we are, back to the desktop, nice and simple. And again, if you want to set up another room, you can either do that, or actually you can just go into another browser and paste in the link that you've got, hit enter, and you can join the room again it's still active and also you can tell which tab is active as well at the top on Chrome you've got a little icon there with the red dot to show that the uh, the tab is using your microphone and camera so worth looking out for that actually on all your tabs just to make sure that no one's uh, keeping an eye on you when they shouldn't be definitely a, a bit of a security conscious thing there so there we go, there are some pretty straightforward options on how to create a Facebook room so you can be in contact with people either on your iOS device or on your desktop PC, your Mac PC, Linux based PC, all those kinds of things, or essentially anything that can receive an email or a text message with the link you provide them on. So all they need really is essentially internet access and it's really helpful for staying in communication with your work colleagues uh, during lockdown, all that kind of stuff. Obviously, family members, elderly family members that you can't visit, you can now get in contact with them quite easily and even set them up very, very straightforward. So there you go. I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews now too, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.